I love a sunburnt country, a land of sweeping plains, of ragged mountain ranges, of droughts and flooding rains. I love her far horizons, I love her jewel sea, her beauty and her terror, the wide brown land for me. This poem by Dorothea McKellar is one of the most famous poems from my home country of Australia. As the COVID-19 pandemic grew, Duke's campus emptied out, and I began the long journey back to Australia. I grew up in Sydney, but during the pandemic, my family and I are currently living on a farm a few hours from the city. While this pandemic uprooted my life in America, it is allowing me to spend the longest period of time at home since I left three years ago. This was not how I expected this semester to end, but this time back home is helping me rediscover my appreciation for my home country. My family and I are settling into our lockdown in the Aussie bush. We are isolated in a very isolated place. Our quarantine consists of planting trees, fixing fences and sowing fields. My dad spends most of his days moving dirt and rocks to different parts of the farm, sometimes I think just for fun. He always makes sure my sister and I know how everything on the farm works. My dad is using this time to teach my sister Gemma how to drive the tractor, which I think she is enjoying a little too much. My mum steals us away to see what we can find from the fruit trees. After nearly 10 years, we finally grew some olives that are actually edible. On top of this, Gemma and I juggle our online classes. Gemma is studying to be a nurse and works part-time in a hospital, so she has to be careful about bringing anything home. Our dog, Abby, watches over us all. Like the other members of the family, Abby is also in charge of many important tasks, such as making sure the food is cooked properly and making sure that nothing is left over. Life down here in the bush is largely untouched by the pandemic. Besides not being able to make a trip into town or have a chat to the neighbours, the bush knows no difference. Each day, we drive around and assess the most important tasks of the day. There is always something to do here. Maintaining the bushland is a never-ending process that is both frustrating and rewarding. During this time, I am coming to realise everything that I was missing over the last three years. Australians have a unique capacity to appreciate each and every moment. The focus is not on yesterday or tomorrow. The focus is on the present day. I am still not exactly sure why that is. But being back in my sunburnt country is showing me again that all we can do is take each day one at a time. This was the first time I have been home since the bushfires ravaged Australia. Where we are in the bush was nearly demolished by the fires. When I looked to see the damage the fires had caused, I saw a sea of blackened gum trees. I saw the burnt shell of our tin shed. I saw further into the bush than I had ever seen before. But I could also see regrowth. I could see emerald green leaves sprouting. I could hear kookaburras calling. I could see kangaroos darting through the trees. While this pandemic is a terrifying experience for us all, there is also hope. Just as our land has regenerated after the fires, our world will bounce back. While unplanned, this time at home is reminding me of the beauty and resilience of my home country. And it is reminding me of the strength of the world we live in.